You know when Nigerians go abroad, what job is available? Because they don't even have papers. Right? And your brother who knows the road and not likely to show you the road. Because you also want to keep coming to them so that you can worship them. There is something in the black man that craves worship. Right? Not knowing that a rich man in the midst of six poor men is a seven poor man in disguise. So when our people get into power, right? Instead of them to position their people into power and bring all of them in, the guy will position himself as your Lord. So when they remove him from power, it's no longer relevant. Before any man does that well, it's not respect of what you think, whether the guy is qualified or not, it's going to position him. Because the Japanese culture, for example, says you must not walk alone. So which means, when you get into power, you must bring your brother's in. Now you are in Japanese, he's going to recommend his brother to you. He's going to convince you that your cleaner is not good. That there's a Japanese cleaner that does a better job. Right? But when you get a road, you recommend your brothers. Number one, you don't even trust your brother so that he doesn't disgrace you. What that means is that the curriculum for raising us is faulty. Because if you raise a Nigerian, you know what to expect. When you hire a Japanese, you know what to expect. You know the guy is going to die on the job. When you hire an Indian, you know what to expect. When you hire a Japanese, you know what to expect. When you hire an American, you should know what to expect. When you hire a Nigerian, you don't even know. And these are the critical issues. Right? So you need to ask yourself because there are three levels of people, parents. Those that raise their children to become owners of industries. Number two, those that raise their children to become captains of industries. Number three, those that raise their children to also and become workers in the industry. Number three is where many of us in Africa belong to. We are raising our children not to become owners of the industry, not to become captains of the industry, is to become workers in the industry. That's why you get excited with first position. First position in primary school is most likely the best crammer, not the most intelligent, because you can't apply what is cramming yet. Which is why the people came last in your school, when you were in school, they are the ones legislating over you in National Assembly now. <laughs> it's an irony. I've seen, I've seen a mystery. I have seen servants work barefooted, and I mean, I've seen princes work barefooted, and servants ride on horses. It's an anomaly. But well, that's what is happening in Nigeria. Are you aware in India? In India, you can never become a permanent secretary in India, in the Ministry of Education, unless you have a first class. So the people who are permanent secretaries are first class graduates. Are you aware in Finland, the people that cannot make teachers training, that they can't make the cut off of teachers training and they want to go to study medicine and accounting? Because they said the best intellectual power must raise the next generation. So teaching has the highest salary in Finland. You know the teachers in Nigeria, they are the ones who score 120 over 400 in jam. Because that's the cut of your college of education. So those that fail jam are the ones who go into teaching and they are the ones who will raise your children. So calm down. Because if we don't challenge ourselves, we will spiritualize these things. And trust me, Holy Spirit is not going to teach your child in this city. You gotta teach a child. That's why I said train up a child in the way he should go. Which means your first skill in parenting is first observation. That you need to observe what way should this child go. What you have been doing is you have been raising your child in the way you are going. It's amazing that the way you are going may not be the way your child should go. I mean, isn't that instructive? The way your child should go may mean that your child cannot find expression in Nigeria. Are you willing to leave? Think about it. Jesus' life was threatened as a child. He was the savior of the world. His parents did not stay there. Joseph closed down his furniture company to go and start life afresh in Egypt. Because if your child wants to be an aeronautic engineer, for example, there's no university offering that course in Nigeria. Where is he going to start from? Think about it. Your child wants to become an astronaut. What subject will you offer in Nigeria? And this one said, Nigeria is, there are children who can function here. I was teaching this, and Pastor Etra said to me, he said, Chris, let me tell you something I, that, to buttress what you just shared. He said, when we were in primary, secondary school, King's College, Form 1, he said, a teacher came to class and asked a question, what would you like to become in the future? So Pastor Etra said, he said, we'd like to become an accountant. He said, when they got to Lamido, San Jose Lamido, the enemy of Canada, they asked him, what would you like to become in the future? The guy said, I would like to become enemy of Canada, Form 1. 
So he said, when they got to the dormitory, he was asking him, which university are you going to go? <laughs> How will you study this thing? You know his response? That was what he told me to say. Few years down the line, while his friends were going to Harvard, the guy went to Sudan to go and study Islamic law. Train up a child in the way he should go. But with that Islamic law, he still became CBN governor in Nigeria. What's the correct connection? The guy is a script. Right? When he became CBN governor, the man had issues with Bruno Jonathan. And Pastor Eto had become a pastor. So he called him and says, oh boy, make me pray. If we say that they won't sack you. Say, Pastor, don't pray for that prayer. I don't need that prayer. You want us to pray. Pray that I become the emperor of Canaan. Question. Where is that middle of So when people say come and contest for Nigerian president, he says, Look, I will find a position that is higher than Nigerian presidency. Because Nigeria is most likely controlled by the Emirates. Right? So you need to understand how these things work. That's a typical example in Nigeria on how you can script a child and your child become what he's supposed to be. And why is he becoming an enemy of Kano? It's because they need him to change the culture of the enmity so that girls no longer go to marry at a young age. And he's already doing that. For he shall save his world, his people from their sin. So what we say most of the time is this. Say, so you know what? When I'm teaching like this, parents are saying, ah, praise wants to teach us American style. Yeah, our parents, we are American children are not disciplined. They are not disciplined. All this why they are not disciplined. But if you check your prayer list, your desires, the things you are trusting God for, most of the things there were inventions by these children that you say are not disciplined. And truth is, it's because we don't even know the difference between discipline and domestication. Let me shock you. We were not disciplined. We were domesticated. <laughs> Because a disciplined people, we produce a disciplined society. People determine land, right? The moment your result in Nigeria, so question, is Nigeria a disciplined country? The last time Nigeria was disciplined was really true. And that was because gone, they can shoot you. War against indiscipline, that was 1984. I think when he was in power or something. Right? So, and the year ago, in fact, when they toppled them, what did we do? We rejoiced. It was a Sunday morning. All of us came out to celebrate, to say, finally freedom, we're in prison. So we're not disciplined. They domesticated us. Because if we had been disciplined, it would show in our neighborhood. I was coming to Festa, I saw dirt. Right? And yet there are Christians in there. See, I don't, if you drive a car, you will know how much you have spent on shops. I have spent 280,000. Even at that, my brother is saying something is still not right. Right? But we are okay because we can afford it. Right? There's a country, Russia. They had photos. They were standing on the government. Come and fix it. Didn't fix it. You know what they did? They went and draw the face of the politicians on the potholes. And they filmed it on CNN and BBC. We came one week. They came to fix it. Here. You must be beaten for <laughs> So we were domesticated because domestication looks like discipline. The word discipline is the word discipleship. And discipleship does not start with spanking and yelling. Discipleship starts with modeling and instruction. So you live the life because children learn from what they see you do. If you are a disorganized parent and you pray, your children will be disorganized. If you don't lay your bed, they can't lay their bed. So if you are here right now, your bed is not, they don't beat your children for, for disorganizing their room. Your room is disorganized. And my children laid their bed. The day we said we would lay our bed first, my children laid it in one week. They mastered it. Because we said that the sleeping, sleeping process does not end until your bed is laid. So when they come to my room at 6 a.m. and they see my bed on late, say, Daddy, are you still sleeping? <laughs> right? It starts with modeling and instruction. Nothing, because the service is very simple. It's like going to win a non-believer to Christ. The pastor is here. When, some, when you win a non-believer to Christ, right, and he's now born again, and after two months, you now meet him smoking. Do you use smoke on him? What do you do? You encourage him. That's discipleship. Is that what you do to your children? No. Because a child, that's why it's a child, is learning. Right? Every misbehavior in quote is an opportunity to actually restore it to who he is. Which is why what 
because you condemn your child is not absolutely bad. So you say, this child is, come on, he does not listen to me. Everything I ask him to do, he does not do. You say that is bad behavior, you're not beating to obey. No, that bad behavior can become an asset elsewhere. Because when the predator comes to molest him and say, take ice cream, that's 